Hi. So I decided to make this update. Uh, I haven't been on since what? June? July? August? Sometime in the summer. Um, and I have to say, the break was nice. Um, I kind of fell out of the loop. And I'll think, you know, I think I'll take myself out of the loop. Um, falling out of the loop is nice. Um, but before I get into that, I have to apologize. I got a new computer over the summer and the webcam is in the bottom corner. So if this looks weird at all, because I'm looking down there. Um, so I fell out of the loop, um, stopped making videos, stopped really responding to messages. I know, hi, I see all of you um, with your messages that come through. Um, and I liked it. Um, I've said in the past that I never wanted cerebral palsy to be the focus of my life. Um, I always wanted to be a person first, a person who happened to have cerebral palsy, and feel with this channel and then having to talk about cerebral palsy week after week and responding to messages. There was a shift and cerebral palsy became more of a priority in my life. And I never wanted or liked it to be that way. Um, and if I'm to be honest, I think it, it got really draining, but not in a direct way. It just became like I was focusing on cerebral palsy so much that in the past, I could just do whatever I wanted to do. Um, and cerebral palsy was kind of stored away in a box. But it seemed like after having week after week, cerebral palsy was on my mind. It was like everything I did, I was aware of how cerebral palsy impacted certain activities or work or whatever I had to do. So in that sense, it just got draining and I think it, it took away from all the other stuff I needed and wanted to do um, with my time. Um, I realized that those of you out there with cerebral palsy or with another disability, because I know there are those who watch my videos who don't have cerebral palsy. I know that there are those of you who your disability is very central to your life. Um, you're involved in uh, activism, advocacy, um, you know, you, you're in activities that are central to your disability. Um, but for me, I'm just not that kind of a person. Um, and I don't want to say that my way is the right way and everyone should, you know, face their disability like I do. Because I don't know if my way is the right way, but it works for me. Uh, there's so much out in the world that I want to learn, that I want to discover. And cerebral palsy is low on that list might be the last thing on that list. It's just not something I really want to continue putting in the time towards. I've enjoyed this channel. I've enjoyed um, comparing notes with people, uh, you know, feeling like I'm connected to someone because we have the same struggle with something and I've never met anyone who had the, you know, struggle stapling things together or going ice skating uh but at the same time 
it's it's just not what I want to focus on. Um, I'm gonna be graduating in two weeks, and then after that, I do have something lined up that's gonna take a lot of my time, and I I can't. I don't think. I don't think I can maintain this channel going into the future. Um, which is weird, because, you know, for the last two years, it has been a big part of my life. And I've enjoyed it, don't get me wrong. But there's just so much I put out there. And, you know, some of it's me. And then some of it's me in the past. And I think I'll, I'll keep it up, but... I I think the future is going to be bare in terms of CP videos for me. Um, I, yeah, this is just turning into, like, some, uh, rather sad thing, even my voice. But, um, with that, uh, if you want, I'll leave your comments below, um, you know, I'll be happy to field them, but like I said, I don't, I don't think this will last much longer. I don't think I can maintain it going into the future. Um, so, goodbye. It's It's been great.